This father and daughter duo are currently rebuilding an old sailboat. The boat is a 1983 Transworld 41 foot catch named Bob. Yep, you got it. Bob. Bob is in a slip in the beautiful Deltaville, Virginia. That's Buddy. He's an Australian cattle dog. He goes everywhere with us. That's Nicole. She's flying the drone. And over there behind the mast, well, that's Dad. And his name is Nick. We are Saddles and Sales. And we really appreciate you watching our show. Naturally, one of the first things I did was visit the Port Townsend Boatyard, where I discovered this big old ship. Instantly, I was fascinated with the history. Was it a pirate ship? Was it a warship? Was there sword fights and cannonballs and lost treasures and maps? And I just had to know more. The boat is named Hawaiian Chieftain. It was built in 1988. It is a 103 foot square rigged catch. It is made out of steel. It was built in Hawaii and it will be returning to Hawaii when the extensive refit is complete. The ship is best known for its mock battles with Lady of Washington up and down the Pacific coast. Next thing I did was walk down the docks. But first I had to ditch my niece, because she doesn't really get the whole boat thing. These people get around boats and water, all of a sudden everything becomes fucking nautical! A stern, a vast, you land loppers, a man to build pump! What? Pump your fucking ass! Alright, alright. Your... I love looking at boats. I don't care what they are, motorboat, sailboat, old boat or new boat. I do really like the old boats or the cool boats with one like this boat with all these cool lines and pilot house and pulleys and blocks and tackle. I started walking back towards the dock and then I saw another boat that looks kind of like this boat and there was a man sitting on it. So you know me, I decided to stop and talk to him. And actually, he was right friendly. And then I discovered that he wasn't just a guy sitting on his boat, but he's a guy that helped build his boat. And he's a guy that published a book about sailing on a 26 foot wooden boat. So without further ado, here is Dennis McGuire and his Nelly Wan. <laughs> and you're, you're the author and builder of this boat, right? That's correct. Well, so, well I'm, uh, I'm the. I'm the left hand man of the right of the real builder, Ray Speck. Okay. Yeah, Ray Speck built like 40 boats or 40. I think this was his 48th or maybe his 50th boat. Yeah, and it's uh, everybody in Port Townsend has their hands on it. Uh, Neat. That was working on wood boats in the se late 70s. Okay. And, okay. Uh, cool. And we all, I mean, everybody in this town knows this boat. And this boat's name is. Nelly Wan. Nelly Wan. And Nelly Wan is a fjord in Prince William Sound, Alaska. Okay. And it was named by a Captain Applegate. Applegate? Yeah. Who's he? Fjord, the fjord was named Nelly Wan by, by Captain. Captain Applegate. Okay. A contract with the U.S. government when they fought Alaska. Oh. And he was doing the surveys of Prince William Sound. Okay. Therefore, he named things as he was going her through. He right. put them on the right. chart. And Nelly Wan, it was the name of his schooner. 
Oh, isn't that cool? Exploration. That is so cool. And so we fished there, that little point called Nelly Juan Point is where we caught enough fish to build the boat. Fantastic. And then the <laughs> book you wrote is called? Ballad of, of Calypso. Calypso. And what is that about? That is about a two year sailing adventure in a 26 foot wooden boat from Portsmouth, Rhode Island uh -huh. to Panama to Hawaii wow. to Port Townsend, Washington. And, wow. Um, did you go through Panama Canal yeah, or did you go Canal, around? Um, all sorts of wonderful experiences between down the intercoastal water leg. Okay. We went to Chesapeake, whatever. Be and um, yeah, we had all kinds of experiences down through the, the, the waterway. And then across we, we, we the Marielle boat lift happened. And so we what got is that? On that? The Marielle boat lift, when all the Cubans were, let, the refugees, Cuba, Castro let them uh, take off, let them go. Put, we were in Florida and found uh -huh. out we could get $1,000 for every person we get a, get aboard. So we took off for Cuba, but we had no engine. <laughs> no moto. No and, moto. Uh, <laughs> so the way, uh, we never made it to Marielle to the boat lift. Okay. But we did uh, meet some Cuban fishermen and went on board and had lunch with him on their boat. Fantastic. And that was super. And then we got run down by a Cuban gunboat and they <laughs> towed us into Havana and then we got kicked out of Cuba and then off to Mexico we went. Wow. And then on down to uh, Mexico, uh, Bel let's see, Isla Mujeres, then uh -huh. Belize. We rebuilt, do some work in Belize, then to Honduras, and then down to Panama. And then across to Hawaii, we had 97 days from Panama to Hawaii. Uh, okay. Major crossing, three what, months. Now, was the name of that boat Calypso? That was Calypso. And that's why it's called the Ballad, the of, Ballad Calypso. of Calypso. The reason it's called Ballad of Calypso is because the backbone of the story is a poem. Oh. Ah. I like 445 it. 445 quatrains, over 900 couplets. Couplets. Now, for me, that's a person that owns. It's a rhyme. Okay, talk to me about that. What uh, does that mean? Well, let's see. Swinging in the rigging like a chimpanzee. That's her. Uh, that's let's see. Uh, let's see. What? Something about this sale is what the sales come to be. Swinging in the rigging like a chimpanzee. I like anyway, it. Anyway, little couplet. Okay. Like, uh, okay. Know, I, you know, okay. Uh, I'm gonna look this up. Is it on your website? Yeah. Okay. I will the, look it up. Isn't yeah. that ironic? I was just walking the docks. A lot of stuff's on the website. That would be in the book itself. Okay. Um, there's, there's stuff in the website. Uh, I didn't do any, I haven't, I'm still building the website. Okay, you know, fair doing, enough. Doing, uh, uh, you know, little videos and stuff. So I only got one video on there right now. And the website is called? Ballad of Calypso. Ballad of Calypso <laughs> dot com? Dot com. Dot com. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and uh, my wife's the illustrator. It's illustrated. Very cool. Yeah, it's 448 pages. Okay. It's a big book. And, um, that is a big book. Yeah, yeah, and we have lots of color photos as well. Okay. Uh, now, is this how do, how do people buy this book if they want it? Amazon. To, it's on Amazon. And it's in your local bookstore. I'd recommend go to your local bookstore. I will. You know, they got a tough game now. Yeah, they do. The yes, they do. They do pretty well. Man, as soon as an author pushes publish, That's the book it. is gone. It yep. goes everywhere. I, all of a sudden, my yep. book shows up in Walmart. I, how did you even know book? that? Yeah, but they got the book, you know. They, Interesting. And you don't keep track of how the royalties you, get. You, it, it's how it is. You did know? you and, sell the publishing rights no. years ago? No. So you still have them. Yeah, sure. But Walmart has your book. Oh yeah, they, every anybody can get my book. Interesting. Now, it seems like. Yeah, that's really interesting. Once it starts getting published, it's it's out there. It's out. And every every and there's like third party sellers, you know, they'll take that book as what and the price and they'll, they'll double the price uh -huh. and try to sell it on Amazon. Wow. Okay, let's they, talk um, about let's talk about Samson Boat Company. Sam, Samson Boat Company. Uh, do you, it does. Uh, it's got great videos on on Facebook, basically uh -huh. you know, on YouTube as well. And uh, just they they've rebuilt uh, what's the name's boat the um, uh, the author, author's boat here in town. 
Well, who was that guy? That author's book. Um, Hold up. Yeah. They had, is doing a series of videos just like you're talking about. Okay. That's why I say, check it out. See what they've done and, and take some tips. I they will. really do beautiful work. I will. Okay, I will. What is that? That's the first winch I put on the boat. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That is a very... Finally got that for main, raising the main. We've done it with just uh, block and tackle. On and a lot of weight. This boom is real heavy. So when you say gaff rig, that means that the, the mainsail is kind of square at the booms. top? There's two booms. There's two booms. Yeah. There's a, a peak boom and a gaff boom. I mean, the uh, um, gaff boom is a peak boom. The main boom. All right. Yeah, you gotta waltz your way down I will here. waltz my way down. <laughs> You're fascinating, Dennis. I can't believe I just sort of bumped into you here. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a mess because I'm working on the head, like I said. But come on down. A boat like this. Was this well, just a this random part design? I did. You did? Yeah. This was this. Uh, designed nor when I built when I got the plans, it was a cutter rig with a cutty cabin, no wheelhouse. Uh, we know and we put raise the app cabin, make that. This is a great wheelhouse. I love those well, windows. Up northwest. Because you do a Alaska. lot of Alaska sailing. Got to have it. Is this, have you only taken it to Alaska? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eight trips. And is it heated in here? How do you oh, heat? Oh boy, that's the best part. How, sh show me your heater. Let's, what would let's an talk. Alaskan do? Be without a heater. <laughs> what would Alaskan do for heat? Burn wood. Nah. No? You got it. Yes? You got I it. I got it. You okay, got it, let's go. Come, see, the queen of the fleet here. The queen of the fleet. <laughs> I love it. Fantastic. The oven. The shipmate. Did you, so this is the shipmate. This is the company that went out of business, didn't yep. they? Do you know I emailed them a couple of weeks ago for Well, I don't hours. know. I think they're back in business. They're, they're making they were a bought. different kind. Well, they were bought? I think they were bought. Oh, okay. That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Miss Pat, did you have, did you do any of the building on here as well? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Other people have mentioned that, too. The real salty folks I know. Yeah, but doesn't everybody they, have paper charts? I can't imagine. Well, no, you know, they have, they, they you can't get them anymore. I guess they're going to stop making them routinely. Um, them and you have to... Captain order them. Nautical, and they um, they just print them off. Nothing really right now. We got uh, basically we got our refrigerator here. You know, fireplace. So your fireplace. Mm -hmm. So that goes down below. Yep. Yeah, yeah, nice. So lots of wood in there. And then your anchor, anchor lockers stuff is all forward, forward. There, yeah. And this this is the flying jib here. Okay. Yeah. From the top. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Autopilot. You do have autopilot. Oh yeah, I got a. Uh, it's a um, hydrovane. Hydrovane. Yeah. Is that a, different than a, a sail that goes on here? Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. My dad wants to put absolutely. one. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. If you want to sail anywhere. That's definite. So you yeah. would give that up over dinghy davits. What's that? You would put that on over dinghy davits. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go have a really big Bloody Mary. You're gonna have a really big Bloody Mary. I'm she might be probably me gonna have a fucking mimosa. Or this something. is a a restaurant in Bremerton called G the Garage Bar and Grill. It's in Bremerton, Washington, and it has floral Bloody Marys. Yeah, we'll take a picture and post it so you can see it. We're gonna do a whole video. She's gonna love that. Gonna do best. Ha ha. Okay. It's so cool. The drink. That is a Bloody Mary, y'all. I can't resist. So we have steak, uh, summer sausage. We have a little onion, some bacon. I think it's a favorite, pickled onion. My favorite part is itty bitty little sword pirates. Okay, and uh, some burger sliders with eyeballs. Oh, Oh, yeah. 
And is it that margarita or Bloody Mary wasn't enough? Look at those fucking nachos. You shouldn't like. Looking forward to getting back to pop. Oh, and I have had a lot of calls about the void in the hall, and it's interesting. Just about everybody agrees that the concrete is a bad idea. Okay, so almost everyone thinks that the closed cell phone, the high density closed cell phone inside the void is the best way to go. I have one person, you know who you are, who says leave it alone. It's not really a big deal. Use great stuff. Is that a thing? Great stuff instead of the closed cell phone? Because apparently, despite the fact that they're advertised, foam isn't waterproof. Like water will penetrate these expanding foams. I'm gonna look into that. But as it is Monday night, well no, actually it's Tuesday, but my flame left at like 5 a.m. And so I had to like get to the airport at 3 a.m. Hence the bags under my eyes. But like, so anyway, I'll make it back to Bob this week and we're gonna start that repair. I have fiberglass. Never fiberglass before, but I did look at a video about fiberglassing. And I know there's a couple pretty salty guys on my channel that know how to fiberglass. So I'll be phoning a friend. <laughs> dorky. Glad to be heading home. Glad to be going back to see Bob. And, um, yeah. Stay tuned. We're going to do a coffee with Bob at the end of the week.